Did you know that meteor showers occur when Earth passes through the debris left by comets? Meteors are often called shooting stars, but they are not stars at all, and some are no bigger than a grain of sand. The speed at which meteors enter Earth's atmosphere can reach up to 160,000 miles per hour. Most meteors burn up in the atmosphere due to intense friction, creating a bright streak across the sky. The largest meteorite ever found on Earth is called the Hoba meteorite, weighing over 60 tons. Meteors can come from different sources, including comets, asteroids, and even fragments of the Moon and Mars. The Perseids meteor shower is one of the most famous, occurring every year in August. Researchers believe that some meteorites contain organic molecules that could provide clues to the origin of life. Meteoroids become meteors when they enter Earth's atmosphere, and if they survive to reach the ground, they are called meteorites. Every year, more than 48 tons of meteoric material falls on Earth, but most of it goes unnoticed. Meteors are commonly known as shooting stars. When they enter Earth's atmosphere and burn up, they create a brief streak of light in the sky. Meteor showers occur when Earth passes through the trail of debris left by a comet. The Perseid meteor shower peaks every August and can produce up to 100 meteors per hour. Meteors travel at astonishing speeds. They enter Earth's atmosphere at up to 45,000 miles per hour. Larger meteors that reach the ground are called meteorites. The Beringer Crater in Arizona is nearly one mile wide and was created by a massive 300,000-ton meteorite impact around 50,000 years ago. Most meteorites that reach Earth's surface are fragments of asteroids. But some rare meteorites originate from the Moon and Mars. Small dust particle meteors burn up high in our atmosphere, creating the effect called meteoric ablation that gives the air a space particles cleaning. Ancient Greeks believed meteorites were gifts from the gods. Others thought they foretold omens, came from distant volcanoes, or were lightning bolts that missed the ground. A large meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia in 2013, injuring over 1,500 people mainly due to broken glass from the shockwave. Meteor showers happen annually when Earth's orbit crosses paths with dust trails left by comets like Halley's Comet or Swift-Tuttle. In space, an asteroid under one meter wide is called a meteoroid. It becomes a meteor upon entering the atmosphere, and a meteorite if it impacts the ground. We are able to see meteors and their trails despite their small size due to a few key factors. Speed. Meteors enter Earth's atmosphere at incredible speeds up to 45,000 miles per hour. This extreme velocity causes rapid heating and compression of air that makes them visible. Ionization. The high-speed compression strips electrons from air molecules along the meteor's path, creating a brief trail of ionized gas that emits light. Persistence of vision. The meteor trail persists for a short time on our retinas, giving the visual impression of a prolonged streak even though it's brief. Contrast. The bright streak of the meteor stands out clearly against the darker night sky, making it easy to pick out. Height. Most meteors become visible at altitudes around 60 miles high or more. At this height there is minimal interference from clouds, haze, or daylight to obscure them. Low humidity, dry air allows the meteor trail to persist longer before diffusing. Humid conditions can disperse the trail quickly. Dark adaptation, when our eyes are dark adapted at night, they are much more sensitive to faint light, enabling meteor detection. So, in essence, the tremendous speed, hot ionized gas trail, retina persistence, and contrast against the night sky allow our eyes to clearly see the swift, searing passage of these small extraterrestrial objects.